Hey everyone, how's it going? So, um, today I'm going to be talking about a readathon that is happening this month, and that is the Anti-Bully Readathon. And it was started by a YouTuber named Sarah Churchill, and it's a week-long event, and it starts from the 16th through the 22nd. And I will leave links down below or on the screen a little later uh, to her channel and plus the, her Goodreads account. Uh, Goodreads page for that. Um, the goal, of course, is to raise awareness of this topic and to just be there for other people. And yeah, um, no, all you have to do is just read as many books as you like, either about bullying or some kind of form of bullying in the book, as long as it has some some form of bullying. Um, I have chosen two books to read during that week and that is Stargirl by Jerry Spinelli and A Little Princess by Frances Hodgkins Burnett. I'm not sure of her of her last name. So, so yeah. Um, a little about my little childhood. Um, I have been lucky enough not to be full on bully. I've been picked on, but not bullied, and they were mainly by the boys at school, so yes, and I was, and I still kind of am, a sensitive person, and just being picked on it was traumatizing to me back then, but now I can pretty much handle whatever comes at me, um, but back then as a kid, I too have picked on other kids who I called my friends and I <laughs> and I I feel bad even still to this day. I'm um, I'm lucky enough to actually not to become a full on bully because if I did and if my mom found out, yeah, I wouldn't be sitting here talking to you guys at all. Uh, so my story is nothing compared to what kids face nowadays and plus back then I mean the horror of what people what kids have to go through and on top of that bullying doesn't stop at any specific time it still keeps on continuing and even into adulthood I mean the fact that adults are getting bullied by co-workers or anybody else is ridiculous and also the fact that adults be bully kids still and it, that's also downright sad and ridiculous and it's just it's horrible um so the, so the main point of this is to be the voice for those who are not ready to be there for them to encourage them, to let them know that they are perfect the way they are, and that when they're ready, they can fight for themselves as well, and also for others who are in their shoes as well. And yeah, I will also leave, again, the links down below and plus somewhere on here to Sarah's announcement, uh, announcement video and also to the Goodreads page where the readathon is happening so yeah and that's pretty much it and i hope you guys have a great day night wherever you guys are and i'll see you guys next time bye